welcome back to the vlog i look a little bit crazy right now because i just um dyed my brows tinted my brows whatever you want to call it um i am currently packing it's 11 p.m because i'm going to atlanta tomorrow um i'm going there for a wedding and i'm getting my hair done and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Um, I leave at 6 a.m. tomorrow. Actually, my the train comes at 6 a.m. tomorrow. So here's the tea. Um, I'm flying out of LAX because it's literally like $300 cheaper. So I'm gonna take the train. I was gonna drive and park at a friend's house, but instead I'm gonna take the train early in the morning um, and then take a bus from Union Station to LAX like a 30 minute bus ride um yeah so i'm gonna do that in the morning i thought i would show you guys what is going in my um carry-on because i already packed my main bag i'm actually doing two carry-ons i'm doing the carry-on like suitcase for my stuff in the overhead bin and then i'm also gonna do like an actual carry-on so i figured i would show you guys like what exactly is going in that so to show you my carry-on bag i got this from amazon a few years ago when i was uh, traveling internationally and this might be one of the best purchases i've ever made when it comes to like a computer bag slash travel bag i really like this one it has a space for the computer back here and then it has a ton so back like a ton of pockets you can see so imagine i have my computer in here i'm charging it right now so my computer and my charger are going to go in here but first things first i always take my planner and my notebook because i'm only going for like a week i feel like i can use my to-do list like doubled as a planner and then i always bring a book even if i don't read it sometimes i just don't even end up touching it i have literally been trying to finish this book for months for months so this is Verity by Colleen Hoover and I'm gonna try to finish it while I'm on the plane. I still have like a third of the book left so it's an easy read but um yeah I am going to bring these and then I also always bring a pen just in case you need it like to sign something or to write something down like obviously I need to use it with my notebook so always bring a good pen i am bringing my water bottle this is from amazon i can link it below literally it's so busted like i use it every single day so of course you can't bring it when it's full but i'm just gonna bring it empty so that i can fill it up in the airport it's really important for me to stay hydrated when i'm traveling especially when i'm traveling all freaking day so the next part i'm not really gonna show you everything but i always end up bringing all my electronics in my carry-on like to sit in front of me in the plane or under the seat in the plane so i always have my headphones i I will be wearing these like pretty much the whole time um, so those would be actually be around my neck and then i also pack my camera case my extra battery and the actual battery charger for my vlog camera if i'm taking the vlog camera which i most of the time do um and then obviously you guys will be packed along with it bring my glasses with me i'm actually gonna go grab a couple of pairs of um, extra contacts and put them in here so next i need to add in my like electronics so i always 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 bring my ipad um it's like an ipad mini and i always download netflix shows on here it's like major key if you didn't know you can go onto your netflix and you can download shows and you can watch them on the plane without wi-fi of course a lot of planes do have like the shows and like the, the like uh, movies that you can watch on the plane and some have wi-fi like delta i think has wi-fi so i might not even need this tomorrow but i definitely downloaded a couple of things i downloaded the first six episodes of outer banks i've actually never seen it and someone told me i need to watch it so i always bring my um hard drive for like editing videos i also have one for my other job and um then i also bring this this is like the mini tripod the portable one for my vlog camera i always bring it just because just in case i want to set up the vlog it works really well so this is from amazon and i really like this one honestly you can get like any brand off of amazon but this one has the legs that like i don't want to bend them because they're straight right now but like you can bend them to like wrap around things which is really cool i will be wearing my apple watch and i always bring my deodorant with me in my like handbag because just in case i need it like not that i 
like think I will but you never know like if you're like running late or it's hot in the airplane or whatever like I always just bring my deodorant in my like bag just in case and then I always bring aquaphor so this is like my go-to I sleep in this stuff it's my fave that is what I bring in my carry-on but I need to go to bed because I need to get up at 5 4 a.m so in five hours so good night See you in the morning. I just wish I had this kitchen so I could create so much content <laughs> like look at this hold on it's kind of dirty in here but let me give you like an overview super nice Today I'm getting my hair done and I have to do a little bit of work before and after that so I will kind of be MIA besides getting my hair done but um just wanted to pop in and say hi and that if it would focus uh, pop in and say hi and that I made it to Atlanta <clears throat> totally totally forgot to vlog that so I'm really sorry but here is the final product she's back I got some face framing money pieces I got like a lot of dimension he did some highlights some low lights um, balayage all of that Brought my roots up, did a root smudge up here, and cut a little bit off. I don't really get layers, I just kind of like want it to be more voluminous since I have like fine hair. So he just cut it straight across and yeah, curled it and everything. I love it. I'm obsessed. Hey guys. Oh, I do look like really glowy. Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's because I filmed the campaign today. You just look fucking bright as fuck. Right. Yeah, I'm, I look tan and like glowy. It's because I have oil on my face and then I'm now shiny. That's the right. Yeah. So I have oil on my face. Okay, so. Yeah. So, we are on the way. Onto Grayson Parkway. We're on the way to a wedding, Sean's friend's wedding. And we're going to Savannah, so yeah, taking a little road trip. They're probably gonna stop in Augusta for dinner or something. Maybe. So yeah, that is our update. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we're going through Augusta though. That's oh, not my thing. Oh no, oh no, I am taking twenty. Yeah, so we'll go through Augusta. Yeah. So. <clears throat> gonna be a fun weekend hot as fuck out here yeah it is it is like I mean, the house is super hot today at least their fucking wedding is gonna have good weather though yeah i wouldn't nice. i wouldn't wish bad weather on anybody's wedding i feel like that's like bad karma why would you wish that on anybody because there's some people i just don't fuck with so. yeah, I so. oh i have sunscreen in my eyes Save 20 minutes via 16 East. Damn. No. Not worth it. <laughs> what? I fucked up. What did you do? You went the wrong way? Yeah. Anyways, oh, we are going to show you the hotel room when we get there. And yeah, we won't even get there until like 10 p.m. at this point. Maybe even like later than that. And we're not really doing much tonight. I thought we were gonna go out in Savannah, but like we're not even, no one else is staying in Savannah. So it's like, whatever, we're not gonna. I mean, I don't know if they're doing, I don't know what is happening because Isaac said he'd let me know mm -hmm. uh, today, so. Okay. Well. Yeah, so I don't know. Maybe we'll do something. Well, I didn't bring anything to do shit with, so. I brought a backup, like not a backup dress, just some like casual dresses, just in case we wanted to come back to the hotel and change, or I could just bring them in the car with me. Oh, uh, whatever so I, I wear to the wedding. After is, the wedding. Whatever I wear to the wedding is what I'm gonna wear out. 
So. Fuck it. Those pants I got are like. The lights. Turn right. They're a little. They're a little hot. You might see a little. You might see a little bulge. Sean. But um. Dick's out for Harambe. Ew. So. Yeah. They're definitely like. I mean, the good thing about it is I can like move around in it. So like. I'm not really worried about like my pants ripping. They're not that fucking tight. It's just in the crotch area. They're kind of yeah. They're a little thick. Thick boy. Thick down there. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we are headed to Savannah, and we'll see you when we get there. Hey, okay, good morning, you guys. Uh, we are in a hotel room and just got ready for brunch. Not really. I'm wearing the same thing as I wore yesterday. <laughs> Um, I didn't pack a cute outfit. I have a dress and then I have this kind of outfit. So nothing so in between. So we can go out to eat tomorrow before we leave. Exactly. I don't know. Like I was, I didn't know. You told me we weren't doing anything. I, so mean, we, anything. I mean, we have to eat though. I know. So whatever. I'll just wear my biker shorts and a t-shirt. Okay. Okay. Anyways. Um, so yeah, we're going to brunch today and then... Where are we going? What's it called? I forget. It's like, I forget. Okay, we'll just show you when we get there, but um, that's what Sean's wearing. That's what I'm wearing. And I'll show you guys the hotel room and we'll tell you our story of what happened this morning. So you walk in and there is a little like seating area over here. Walk this way. There's a little coffee bar and a mirror and then a closet over here. And then the bathroom is like decent. I mean, just typical hotel room. It is kind of small for us. And then here is the actual bedroom. So yeah, and then here's our view of the beautiful warehouse. <laughs> but we had something crazy happen to us this morning. We were laying here like sleeping this morning and we slept in to like nine um we're laying here and then there's a knock at the door but i was like pretty much asleep like fully asleep at that point so i didn't even hear it and then um i then we both hear like hello and this guy no, that was that was me that said oh that. wait so okay then this you is tell what happened so there was a knock on the door and i was like assuming that it was to another room just because like it's like nine in the fucking morning and like nobody nobody asked like we didn't ask anything to be sent to the room or anything like that so i didn't think it was i didn't think it was for us so i hear a door open and i'm like dude there's no way that's our door and then i saw the light the light in the hallway like came on like flicked on and i was like hello and he said the guy said something like uh room service and i was like nah like uh you got the wrong room or something like that and he was like is this like he said some fucking name or some shit like that and i was just like i was just like no like i just said it was wrong room like what like what are we doing here and and so like i don't hear the door i hear the door like open open like all the way so i'm like mind you i'm should i i'm naked yeah i'm naked like, so like sleeping naked so i like get to the edge of the bed and like put my head like toward the door i'm like yo like that's not for us like he was like well i like fumbling his words and shit i'm like bro like when do room service room attendants maids all that shit like when do they just walk into your room so i'm like i'm like without saying confused. anything because he didn't like, say he didn't open the door and announce himself no nah, he said, you said he hello said, he said something but like i'm not thinking that it's like to our apart our hotel room because like we didn't order shit it's not yeah. it's literally nine in the morning the lights is off no tv on there's there's nothing yeah. Like there, there's nothing on to indicate that anyone is in the room. 
and he just like walked in and I ain't never I ain't never seen like room attendants, roommates like come in that early because people be fucking sleep. Like Yeah, it was like nine AM. Yeah, it's like it'd be if it was like eleven, twelve o'clock, that's different. But it was like it was nine thirty, like in the morning. So Yeah. Yeah, so I like I got to the edge of the bed because I'm thinking like, okay, if there's somebody trying to get in the room, well I'ma just have to beat his ass butt ass naked because like I don't got time to put on shorts, <laughs> underwear, none of that. Like I'm literally at the edge of the bed with the like blankets like pretty much covering my dick so i'm thinking all i'm thinking in my head any guy who's been in this like situation like they just know like i'm just gonna have to fight with my dick out like it's just oh my god it, it just is what it is like when you like if it's life or death you're not thinking like oh i'm naked i can't fight for my life or no shit like that and she's in here so i'm like it's either me or we die so yeah, I was just thinking like she was like if, she was like half sleep, so like yeah, I was, and I was just thinking like, what if I had been alone in here, half asleep? I didn't even hear him come in. Like that's the thing. I thought it was oh, see, I'm a light sleeper, so I well, hear so am everything. I. But I didn't. I thought like you know when you hear a door shut and close, like it's usually like the people across the hall, and that's what I thought it was at and first. So I would have totally ignored it, and that dude could have just come in here like. Well, he could have like crept up in here because it's like a whole long hallway like all the way to the door And it's not bedroom. like it's carpet too. So you can't even hear like yeah, somebody. it would have been like it was just so creepy I was like, what if I had been alone? Like, you know, like Sean's like voice carries but I'm like I would have been like hello <laughs> Oh, yeah, I was well, like, so, I was super fucking loud cuz I was like yo, what the like, fuck? Hello? <laughs> that woke me, that's what woke me up cuz I was like, oh my god cuz I cuz I heard I heard like something over there but i thought it was you for some reason that's how sleep i was i was like oh he probably just got up and went over there and then you were like next to me and i was like <gasps> i like what jolted up out of my sleep i was like who is that yeah so i i definitely thought this morning i was like damn i ain't never fought nobody butt ass naked but i guess today's about to be that day yeah. i'm like i'm like damn like i'm already thinking bro this is the last time coming back to states bro Savannah, all this shit, bro. I am never coming back here, bro. And that is just that solidified. I did that shit. seal the deal. Like I'm, I'm good. I'm good on. I went to school down here and shit, but like, I don't think I'm coming back to this motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> it was actually really scary. But I was like more scared than Sean was. Just like, like, what the fuck? Like, why would you? I mean, I have seen the dude too, and like, I a hundred and ten percent would have beat the shit out of him. He was like some like scrawny white dude. So, he was not, white dude? Not white dude, black dude. Scrum. Like when he saw me, he was just like, oh, like, like kind of like shocked. I was gonna get up. I should have just got a butt ass naked and been like, bro, like, nigga, like, <laughs> I, re I really should have did that. Oh my God, that would have been so funny. I kind of feel bad for the person unless they're a murderer, then I don't feel bad for them. I mean, but I, I went outside to like put the do not disturb shit on because like I don't even want them in the room. I know, now, I added so. that like door lock, the thing like the hinge so that they can't get like, like no one can open the door unless yeah, you're from so. outside. Whenever we should have added go, that last night. Yeah, though, whenever, whenever you're at hotels, bro, you never know. Make sure you got the dead lock on that bitch because yeah. obviously there's some sick ass fucking room attendants in this bitch, so. For sure. Okay, we're going to brunch. We'll see you guys at brunch. How many times can I say brunch in the same sentence? <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready for the wedding. And I thought I'd share this um, foundation that I'm using. So it is the Sephora Best Can Ever, Sephora Collection Best Can Ever Foundation. And this is in the shade 25N. I thought you said you were gonna wait. Cause yeah. you said it was gonna be humid. She's so dumb, y'all. You literally just said that, Sean. She's so dumb, y'all. Okay, anyways. We just do my makeup first. And then I'll do my hair last. Okay. Anyways, this is the Sephora Collection Best Can Ever Foundation in the shade 25N. I actually had to return it like three different times just to find the right shade for when I'm tan, but I 
love this foundation i only use like a pump and i find that that's like enough for like as like a tinted moisturizer kind of feel but you can go heavier with it if you want and then i've been using the um, tarte shape tape this is a shade medium honey this is like my tan shade but i like how it has like a peachy undertone because it cancels out my dark circles and i like that it like lasts a really long time so I've been wearing like less and less makeup lately just because, you know, I don't know. I feel like I don't need it as much and I like like the lighter weight kind of feel. So, all right. And I've been adding it like under my cheekbone before I bronze. I think that helps like contour. So I blend out like everything except for right under in my like inner corner under my eye because that's where I have like the deepest circles. So I want to conceal that the most. So I blend everything out with a brush and I leave that to like almost dry. And while I do that, I will cream contour. I use the Huda Beauty Tantor contour, cream contour in the shade Fair. So. I literally just like paint this on. And it blends really easily and it's like my favorite so far that I've tried. And then I also go in with the uh, Nude Sticks Matte Stick, wait, Nude Stick Bronzing Stick in the shade Sunkiss. It's actually like a blush. And this is my cream blush that I use. It's literally, literally the perfect color, so I'm obsessed with this one. And I'm gonna try to keep it like a super lightweight because it's hot here in Spana and humid. And I just don't wanna sweat it off and I don't wanna have to worry about touching up my makeup. So, yeah. Literally, that's it. Okay, to set the rest of my face besides under my eyes with the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. just dry enough where I can blend it out in that spot and it'll like stay and give me full coverage right there and then immediately go in with the powder to set it up I'm gonna take Hula bronzer and go over my bronzer And then I'm also gonna take the same Hula bronzer and put it in my crease, just for like a light wash of eyeshadow. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal uh, Paradise Enchanted Blush in Fantastical. And it's like a corally, like, kind of has like a, a sheen to it, like a pearl. It's similar to Milani Luminoso. And I lay on the blush heavy because that's the first thing to come off. I'm going to finish up my makeup. I'm just going to do soap brows, add a shadow liner, and then mascara. And then I guess lip liner and I'll be done. So I'll be back later, but I just want to show you like the base routine that I've been doing lately. I think everything else hasn't changed, um, but like my foundation has. So I just wanted to show you. And yeah, so I'll see you with the final product. 
All right, this is the finished makeup look. Super simple. I still need to actually do my lip liner, but I can just do that in the car. We need to order the Uber and go. So let me grab my... I'm using Morphe Honeymoon Lip Liner, but yeah, this is the hair I decided to go for kind of last minute, but I think it works really well with the dress because I want like the dress to shine. This is the dress. It is from Shop Luna B on Instagram. Get the bag for you. My heels are from Shein. So this is the outfit. And yeah, I really love this outfit. I'm excited. Super cute. So, my first time wearing zebra print to a wedding. But yeah, I think it's really cool and fun and summery in a really nice outfit. And then Sean is wearing gray pants and like um, a white top, like linen top, I think, or something like that. And then he is wearing brown shoes in a tie. So, that is what is going on right now. I am gonna order the Uber. And we'll see you at the wedding. Hung over. This is not gonna work. Okay. Good morning, you guys. Sean is hungover and I am not. And we are eating Bojangles. I'm so excited. If you've never had Bojangles before, I'm missing out. Cajun chicken biscuit. Mmm. Yep. <laughs> 